On today's episode of Misconceptions in Genetics, we will be looking at mutations. Are all mutations harmful? So what exactly is a mutation? A mutation is a change in the structure of a gene that affects how that protein that it codes and its function manifests in that organism. Mutations can be acquired from parents by inheriting the mutated gene that will cause a disease in the offspring. Mutations can also be somatic. In this case, they will not be passed down to the offspring, but will only appear phenotypically in the individuals that carry it. Mutations are caused by internal and external factors. When we talk about internal factors, we're talking about intrinsically, mistakes that happen inside of our cells. For example, during DNA de- replication, when there is a mistake in the duplicating of the template DNA strand, and that mistake does not get repaired and continues to move along the replication process, this then leads to the production of defective protein structures with defective functions that can affect the organism as a whole. Environmental mutagens and toxins can also affect the proper functioning of the DNA, such as UV radiation from the sun, smoking, and other environmental carcinogens. To name a few, there is the silent mutation which leads to the production of the same protein. It is a single nucleotide change that doesn't have much of an effect. There is deletion mutation, which is the deletion of a base pair. There is insertion mutation, which is insertion of a base pair. Missense mutation, which is a single base pair substitution. Nonsense mutation, which gives an early stop codon. So apart from silent mutation, these four mutations will give rise to a differently structured protein which will function differently. There are other types of mutations like frame shifts, random repeats, and so forth. But to get down to the question first posed, are all mutations harmful? The simple answer is no. Mutations can bring about variation in a population. Mutations can bring about genetic polymorphisms in a population, and we see these phenotypical variances, such as differences in hair color, eye color, blood type, and much more. Sickle cell anemia is a disorder caused by a single mutant gene that leads to the production of sickle red blood cells. In many African tribes, people with sickle cell anemia suffer from malaria less frequently than those who do not have sickle cell anemia. Development of mutations evolutionary has been important to the survival of many species. For example, unlike rabbits, the snowshoe hare was able to develop longer hind legs to be able to flee from its predators. In humans, well, some humans, the mutation in the gene CCR5 provides resistance to HIV and subsequent development of AIDS. Mutations can be attributed to much of the diversity we see in our world today. Thank you for tuning in.